Thank you, Laura. Let's turn now to the U.S. state of Texas, where even as people are finally getting electricity back after a brutal winter storm crippled the power grid, millions are now left without water. Pipes cracked in the extreme cold and water treatment plants were knocked offline. The BBC's Lebu de Seco reports now from Dallas. After days battling to find power, Texans are now struggling to get clean water. 13 million people, that's around half the state, are being told to boil what comes out of their taps. Some are even resorting to heating snow to drink. <laughs> but in any crisis, there are helpers like Alan. He's bought hundreds of bottles of water for his local community. Super important. It really is. You know, this takes the burden off of me having to get out and drive around. So I appreciate this. I really, really do. It's been a grueling few days for Alan, who's dealt with power outages and now has no food at home. I was very cold. Um, and every time that I would get out of my car to go back in just to have somewhere to lay down, I had to decide, do I want to stay in an uncomfortable position in my car in the warmth, or do I want to go into a cold home and lay in a comfortable bed? Today, I'm going to do this water, and then after the water, I'm going to check and see what type of food people lost and see what I can do to replace their food. Honey, this is more than enough. Thank it's clear Alan's making a huge difference to his community, bringing supplies like water and even electricity generators. But temperatures here are expected to triple in the coming days, and that could bring new problems. Melted ice coming through already damaged pipes could cause flooding. That could see pressure supply dwindle even further. Officials say some areas in the state could completely run out in the coming days. Residents are being asked to ration the little utilities they already have. It's been a long, cold week in the US. Several states in this country have been brought to their knees by the severe winter storms. It's too early to definitively link this weather to global warming. But what is clear is that the U.S. needs to be better prepared for a changing climate. Le Boudiseco, BBC News, Dallas, Texas.